Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was the first to welcome the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, upon his arrival on a fraternal visit to Bahrain today. The two sides held talks on the outstanding brotherly ties binding the two countries and people, as well as their latest regional Arab and international developments. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister also welcomed the Saudi monarch. An official reception ceremony was held for the custodian of the two holy mosques where the two countries' national anthems were played. Upon the arrival at Rauta Palace, the Saudi monarch greeted their highnesses and the ministers, as well as senior officials in the kingdom. And His Majesty the King greeted the delegation accompanying the Saudi monarch. His Majesty welcomed King Salman, expressing Bahrain's pride in the visit, which embodies the deep-rooted relations. He affirmed the kingdom's appreciation for the honorable historic stances of Saudi Arabia towards Bahrain. His Majesty the King reviewed with the custodian of the two holy mosques the course of fraternal relations and the means of developing them in all fields. They asserted the continuous uh, keenness on developing bilateral relations and the means of coordination to serve the interests of the two countries and achieve the aspirations of their people. The Saudi monarch expressed his country's pride in the fraternal relations with Bahrain and its stances towards Saudi Arabia, wishing Bahrain further security and stability. His Majesty the King held a lunch banquet in honor of the guest and his accompanying delegation.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to bid the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, farewell. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa were also present. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al-Ramahi, affirmed that the kingdom and government and people are welcoming the brotherly visit of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, which bolsters fraternal relations between the leadership and its people. In a statement to the Saudi press agency, the minister noted that this visit is a model of brotherhood and cohesion between the two kingdoms, which share a unified vision to consolidate historical and strategic partnerships at all political, economic, social, media and cultural levels. Under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and King Ahmed bin Isa Al Khalifa of Bahrain, he affirmed Bahrain's pride in Saudi Arabia being its largest political, commercial and a tourism partner, adding that the King Hamad Causeway will strengthen brotherly partnerships along with the King Fahad Causeway. Ramahi stressed the two kingdoms' keenness to strengthen media cooperation, continue to unify stances in regional and international media events, activate the role of media in spreading tolerance and moderation, supporting sustainable development, rejecting hatred, extremism and terrorism, and preserving the unity and cohesion of Gulf Arab and Islamic societies. The minister pointed out that Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations stand united with Saudi Arabia in its leadership of the Islamic military coalition to combat extremism and terrorist organizations, the Arab coalition to establish a legitimacy and restore hope in Yemen and counter Iranian interference in the region and deter regional and foreign threats and conspiracies. He added that Saudi Arabia has throttled the conspiracies of extremists and terrorists against it. The minister stressed that the custodian of the two holy mosques is a symbol of wisdom, moderation and generosity, and his brotherly visit is always welcomed in various official, popular and media circles in Bahrain in appreciation for his wise leadership and the support of His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince. The Royal Court mourns the sad demise of the wife of His Highness Sheikh Ibrahim bin Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Her Highness Sheikh Aisha bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who passed away today. The Royal Court prays to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, delegated the chairperson of Royal Life Saving Bahrain, President of the Board of Trustees of Al Mubarak Khalifia, Her Highness Sheikh Naila bint Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to attend the fifth International Autism Conference, which was held under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, the Organization of Bahrain Society for Children with Behavioral and Communication Disabilities. Her Highness uh, Sheikh Naila bin Hamad expressed thanks for, his royal, for Her Royal Highness for patronizing the conference, which coincides with the celebration of Autism Awareness Day, which falls on the 2nd of April. Her Highness uh, noted uh, that the conference is an opportunity to support professionals and parents as well as meeting a number of local and international experts and learning about the latest developments in the field of autism. 
For her part, a member of the board of directors of the Bahrain Society for Children with Behavioral and Communication Disabilities, Sumeya Hussain, noted that the center works on providing various training and rehabilitation programs in line with the capacities of the children and by an educational and trade professionals. She cited that the center has 130 students and that nearly 100 students have been integrated into various regular schools in order to continue their education. Kuwait's uh, Prime Minister, His Highness uh, Sheikh Jabir al-Mbarak al-Hamad al-Sabah, yesterday at the uh, State Palace received Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa al-Khalifa. They discussed ways to uh, boost uh, bilateral relations and cooperation for the best interests of the two countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the State of Kuwait have yesterday signed an agreement on financial agreements at the headquarters of the Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development. The deal followed the Financial Support Framework Agreement on the Physical Balance Program, which was signed by the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and the State of Kuwait last October. Finance and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa signed the agreement with Kuwaiti Finance Minister Dr. Naif Al Hajraf and Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic Development Director General Dr. Abdul Wahab Al Badr, in addition to Arab Monetary Funds as consultant party. The signing of financial agreements between the two brotherly countries came within strong fraternal ties to consolidate joint cooperation and coordination in all fields. The deal will contribute to bolstering the stability of Bahrain's public finances so as to continue spurring growth and boosting development with the aim of maintaining the balance between government's revenues and expenditure by 2022 through the fiscal balance program which is reflected in the 2019-2022 till general state budget. Bahrain signed two uh, financial cooperation agreements with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates in October 2018.